as soon as I could walk, my dad had me in skates, just like Andrew. Um, I played hockey growing up since I was four. Uh, did travel hockey, 70 game seasons. Um, played four years of varsity hockey in a public school, sorry. Um, I went on to the University of Pennsylvania where um, I played four years of varsity and was a captain my senior year. Um, while other kids spent their summers enjoying the outdoors and sunshine, I was in a hockey rink for eight hour practices um, and slept away at hockey camps. Um, my parents provided me with the opportunities to flourish as an athlete and a hockey player, um, and I enjoyed it. Um, but in high school, when I was playing on a team, a varsity team at a high level, uh, I was struggling with something that I couldn't express to my teammates, to my friends, to other students. Um, during high school, I realized that I was gay. Something that I didn't know how to deal with, and I couldn't go to anybody to talk to about. Instead of having a support system where I could talk to my friends and my coaches, I decided to channel all my energy into sports. I worked as hard as I could to become a better player, all the while lying to myself and my teammates. I finished high school still in the closet. When I came to the University of Pennsylvania, I decided that I couldn't keep lying to myself and to my friends and to my family. I decided that I had to come out. At the end of my freshman year, I started to tell some of my close friends from home, my fraternity brothers, and uh, other close friends. After a while, if you come out about 20 or 25 times to different people, you start to tell them, just spread the word. Um, so between freshman and sophomore year, all of my fraternity brothers and my uh, teammates on the hockey team had already found out. I came back sophomore year for our first tryout um, of the year, first practices. Um, I walk in a little bit late with my uh, hockey bag into the locker room. Almost the entire team was already there. As soon as I walked in, the room fell silent. All of the fears that I had built up around coming out, wondering if my teammates would be able to accept me or whether I'd still be able to play the sport that I'd grown up loving, and that I thought about every single day, um, came over me, flooded me at that moment. But I kicked off with the players decide that they couldn't play with a, a, a gay player on their team? Would my coaches kick me out? Or would it become so awkward and so uncomfortable in the locker room that I'd have to force myself to play? Everyone that day got suited up in silence. We went out on the ice, we had tryouts, we came out and went home. And I thought about it that night, is this what the season is going to be like? Every day, dressing in silence, the usual boisterous locker room replaced by nothing. The next day we came back for round two, and I dreaded it again. But that day, instead of silence, my friend and fraternity brother and fellow teammate, Dan, he cracked a joke about my new situation. The entire team laughed, the locker room erupted, and the air cleared. The environment returned to its boisterous normalcy, but absent were the references to fag and the usual that's so gay that had been commonplace. That day, my friend Dan helped create an atmosphere where I would be accepted one of the team. He was a true ally. What I want to do here today is to ask all of you in the audience to join my friend Dan and be an ally as well. Well, what exactly is an ally? What can I do as a straight person to help 
those in a different situation? Well, an ally starts off by asking questions, learning about your friends, and working to understand the issues that they are facing. An ally just stands up for others and speaks out when friends and teammates use language that we all know is inappropriate. Whether in the classroom, the dorm, or in the locker room. Whether our gay and lesbian friends are present or not. But most importantly, an ally challenges himself, him or herself, every day. An ally looks inside him or herself and resolves to be a better person, friend, and teammate with every passing day. From what I've seen here in my brief time at MNH, I'm confident that you all are more than capable of rising to that challenge.